All right, guys, so what we have to do next is actually bring this into 3D Exchange, which is another software from Relution. So we have here is our Relution Hub and 3D Exchange should be right here. iClone 3D Exchange 7. Let's go ahead and pop that open. And what we're going to do is import this motion that we did in Axis Neuron into here. So let's go ahead and export it first from Axis Neuron, duh. So let's go ahead and go all the way to frame zero. It's okay, export. And right here, we're gonna change this to process BVH, okay? And then we're gonna add a T post in the head frame or the beginning. I'm gonna export this and I'm just gonna put it in our tutorial folder and I'm gonna hit export. Okay, and now we're gonna go to iClone 3D Exchange. Let's go to File, op oh, File Open, and we're gonna go to that folder that I spelled import. And let me go ahead and make this bigger for you, okay? As you can see, here's our motion here. And then on the right side, under Character, if I scroll down, we're gonna click Convert to Non-Standard. And then right here, presets, let's go ahead and click on Maya, check active, zero, zero T pose is okay. And then we're gonna click convert. Blah, 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 it's good. So now that we have that there, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this animation right here and I'm gonna click apply to iClone. And that should send it to iClone. And there you go. So if we press play, they should both sync. Three. So you can kinda of see it. One, two, three, clap. There it is. Look at that. Now we have arm motion and facial motion both in iClone 7. It would have been easier with the plugin, but like I said earlier, unfortunately, I do not have the plugin. Okay, so let me go ahead and save that. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do next is take the facial animation and upper body animation that we combine in iClone 7 and then move that to Unreal Engine 4 using LiveLink. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what LiveLink is in this Relution Hub. So you can see all the stuff I have installed and it's right here, Unreal Live Link plugin for iClone. Now, you have to get this separately, all right? But you can apply for it to get it for free if you're an indie filmmaker. So it's worth taking a shot. But I think you have to own iClone 7 with a 3D exchange for you to be able to apply for the indie license. But I'm telling you, you're about to see why this thing right here is worth it. So even though I didn't have the uh, Perception Neuron plugin at least i have the unreal live link plugin for iclone so i'm gonna go ahead and minimize that and yeah i have the unreal engine 4 already open we have our scene right here if you haven't seen a video on uh, i talked about it a little bit in my previous videos and i just have a real simple scene here from the marketplace that i extended a little bit and just relit it a little bit and just changed some stuff around uh, a couple of the lights added a clock and all that stuff really uh fun stuff in the Unreal engine 4 so what we're gonna do is bring that character in here okay so first thing we're gonna do is uh we're gonna go ahead and install that plugin because you have to do this in every single project okay so go plugins unreal live link find live link plugin folder i use a 4.25 for that project so i'm gonna go ahead and go in copy the plugins and then what i'm gonna do is i have a quick access to all my projects unreal projects and it's in it's and the project name is interrogation tutorial we're gonna go ahead and paste it here I already have it there, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace. I'm just showing you how to install it, so you can do the same thing. Now, it's not going to work because I already have it open, so I'm just going to cancel this, and it's right here. Pretty much just copy and paste it in this folder for your project. So we go back to Unreal Engine 4, and as you can see, it's already right here, so that's good. We have the plugin, and we can enable it by going to Edit, Plugins, and it's right here, iClone Live Link. Okay, so it's good to go. It's ready. So let's go back to um, iClone, and then we're going to go to Plugins, Unreal Live Link, Unreal Live Link. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to transfer the files, but I'm not going to transfer everything 
because I don't need the prop, I don't need the camera, I don't need any of the lights, okay? So that's all we need technically is the character. So let's go ahead and transfer that. So another thing that you are gonna need is another plugin that's auto set up. So go ahead and click yes, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'll take you to this web page right here. And then you just gotta, oh, oh yeah, they're having Black Friday sale up to 50% off. So that's good. Uh, if you go down right here, download Unreal Engine 4.3.2.4.2.5. Go ahead and download this. We're gonna go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it, okay? All right, so we're going to go accept the terms. Now, the next here, you make sure you got to remember where you're putting this plugin because you're going to have to pull it, okay? So next, right, I see where that's going. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. Okay, so here we go. Similar to the LiveLink plugin, we're going to go ahead and go to 4.25. And we're going to copy both of these right here. And then we're going to go back to our Unreal project enter tutorial and copy and paste this here okay so now you're good minimize this okay a lot of good stuff right now from revolution looks like so i'm going to close this right here and then we're going to go ahead and um what i'm going to do is just reopen this file because we just installed the plugin so save all and i'm going to close it and open it back up okay so we are back in Unreal Engine 4. You're going to see new plugins are available. So let's go ahead and check that out. Edit, plugins. Good. We have both of these guys up there. And you can see the uh, the icons up here as well. So let's go ahead and let me move my camera up a little bit. There you go. Press G. Get rid of those icons. And let's go ahead and go back to iClone 7 again. And then transfer the file. All right, guys, so it looks like it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Unreal. And as you can see right here, Unreal is already doing its compiling and shading. And that's why we needed the second part of it, the auto setup, because that's actually going to take care of all our shaders here. So you can see it's right there. It's doing a pretty good job so far. And what I'm excited the most is, like I said, the shaders. I mean, it's pretty good now. I mean, before, you know, before the 1.1 update, it didn't look too well. But, man, they're getting really close and like I said in the previous video the clothes that I got translates to Unreal Engine 4 pretty darn well and that's another thing that is very exciting um, so you can see here the eye is kind of missing there the eyeball is missing and I think it's because I think I got like a special eyeball or something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import a different set of eyes all right guys so my theory is that the eye that i have here selected is not supported or something's wrong with it translating to unreal engine 4 so the way i want to fix that is by just changing the eyeballs here okay so what i'm going to do is replace this with a standard eye to see if we can fix that problem so i'm going to go to smart gallery and i'm just going to go to let's see here i'm going to type i here See if that works. Um, let's go look at the base character. And I'm going to look at the base pack, as you can see right there. And I'm just going to select one. And I'm going to replace it, okay? Alright, so there's that's that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export it back to iClone. So let's go back to iClone. And we're going to replace this character here with the new one that we just created and then we're going to transfer it back to unreal engine 4 so if i go here and this is kind of cool because you're seeing how i'm fixing this um if i go to let's see here now there's two of them in there okay so all right so we have one let's see if both of them are going to start acting up okay so only one is acting so that's good what i'm going to do is i'm going to export this as a motion and then this is kind of like the long way of doing this, right? But I just want to make sure that we're not getting rid of this this motion here. So we're going to go motion 1. I'm going to save it there. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this one as well. Export expression clip. I'm going to show you how this is all going here. Talk 1. Right, so we have the talk one and stuff and now what I'm gonna do is actually delete that character 
Okay, so what we're going to do next is pretty much import the motion and the expression that we exported from the old character with the wrong eyeball. So let's go ahead and file, import, import. We're going to do motion, so you can see it's right there. And then we're going to do the facial as well. Talk one. And then you're not going to see it right away. But if I go here and you go to expression... Now you see the same exact thing, and now our character should be doing the same exact thing. Um, it's downloading some packets right now because I just got a new computer, but what we'll do is let's go ahead and transfer these again. So I'm going to select a character. Everything's good. We changed our eyeball. Transfer file, and let's go back to Unreal Engine 4, and it's going to do its thing again, so let's go ahead and wait. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Unreal Engine 4 to see if the eyeballs are there. And yes, eyeballs are good. So it looks like the problem was the eyeballs that I used when I created the character and character creator was just not compatible with it because it was like a an additional thing that I got. I don't even remember where I got the eyeballs from, but we got it solved. So let's go ahead and save this and let's exit out save it uh let's do lori cop 2 and we are here now see this is very good